columns. First of all a customer ID. Same again, it's going to be a serial, it's not going to be null and it's going to be a primary key. Why do we need this column? Well, we want to be able to identify uh, all of our customers and each customer uniquely within our database. The second column is F name or first name. Uh, I've made this one a uh, string of potentially 32 characters long. Some people may have much longer names, but it's very rare. But if we see that we have problems later on, as I said, we will be able to modify the definition of each of the columns. Again, we don't want this to be null whatsoever. Okay, we want to have a first name for every single customers. The third column, L name, which is stands for last name, will also take a string uh, that can be up to 32 characters long. And again, we don't want this column to have any null values entered into it whatsoever. So we must have a first name and last name for our customers. Okay. Phone. Uh, I've created a, uh, the fourth column being the, uh, the phone number for our customers. Now, why a string? Some of you may ask, oh, and we don't want 316. I think we want 16 characters long will be enough. But why a string? Why not a number? Well, very simple. Uh, some people may come from uh, other countries and they may have foreign numbers. And we all know that foreign numbers start with double zero or the plus sign. So if we put a plus sign in front of a number, it's not a number anymore. It becomes a string in computers for computers. So that's why I've put varchar 16. And I don't want this to be null either. Okay, I want, I absolutely want uh, to have a number there. Okay. Another thing is the birth date. We want to make sure that our customers are allowed to drive our cars, or at least they are old enough to drive our cars. There are other things that we must look into. We must make sure, obviously, that they have a driving license and they are you know, they have insurance and so on, but let's not forget this is just an exercise in designing databases, okay? It's by no means uh, a fully uh, fledged uh, database for a uh, car rental business, so I'm not going to take any responsibilities if you guys uh, open the car rental business and forget to ask your customers if they've got a driving license, okay? But I thought I would introduce you with a birth date column to a new data type called date and this data type obviously self-explanatory will take dates and we don't want this to be null either we want to have that information in uh, each rows of our table and the sixth and last uh, column in T customers is a column called balance okay and it's of type numeric maybe it should be four four comma two I don't want this to be null, and I want this to have a default of 0.00. .00. Now, what does the balance column do? Well, it's pretty simple. If uh, some customers owe us money, this value in the balance column will be, for example, minus 10.05, $10.05, or 10 euro 05, or 10 pound 05, whichever currency you're working in. Uh, or, if we owe money to our customers, let's say uh, we are running a promotion, and it could be uh, 15 point uh, uh, 15 dollars, pounds or euros, okay? So what does the numeric 4 comma 2 mean? Well, the 4 means that the number will have 4 digits before uh, the decimal points, and it will have 2 digits after the decimal points, okay? So that's what it means. So basically, uh, we will allow, I guess, uh, minus uh, 9,999.99 up to plus 9,999.99. Uh, 9 okay, so this is our T customers table. Now, on to our last table, the T rentals table, which I uh, designed earlier. This table, I had, I, as I explained earlier, will be a linking table. It will link uh, the cars with the customers who run them. Okay? So what we're going to have here is three columns. The first one being car ID and it will be an integer. It will not accept any null and it will be a foreign key. 
basically it will link to tcars.car ID. And as, it, as I explained to you earlier, a serial is uh, kept in the server memory or on disk as an integer. So that's why this car ID here is an integer. The second column will be customer ID, also an integer, will not take any null, and it will be a foreign key. And guess what? It will be a foreign key to tcustomers.customerID. Okay? And the third and last column for tRentals will be the rental date. This will be a date and it will not be null, and it will refer to the time at which a rental occurred. Okay? And I think it may be best if we added a rental ID here, to be honest. So we can uh, have unique rows and identify and look up our rentals very quickly. Okay, so rental ID, I think we'll call this serial. It will not be null, and it will be a primary key. Okay. All right, so now let's have a look at how we will create these uh, tables. I have actually written the code to create these tables. And here it goes. It's coming up. I'm pressing a delete key. Maybe I've put too many blank lines. There we go. So let me just bring that up here. The car table. How do we create tables in Postgres using SQL statements? Well, it's pretty simple. We use the create table command. Okay. And then we give the name of the table we want to create. And then we open brackets and we define all the different columns that we want. Once we've defined all the different columns, we close the bracket and we put a semicolon at the end. All SQL statements in Postgres terminate with a semicolon. Okay. So there you are. You've got uh, the uh, different uh, columns here, our four columns. We've got the car ID serial, not null, and then a comma. A comma means that there will be another definition for another column. The other column will be brand. It will be varying character length string up to 32 characters, and it will not accept any null. Comma, and a new column. The type column will be a varying character length string, string sorry, taking up to 32 characters, and it will not be null either. And then we'll have Color. Color will be a varying character length string taking up to 16 characters and it will not be null. I've also added something else. I wanted to show you a new data type when I actually uh, created uh, this table. Is I've added a new column called status and it takes one character. And you can see here it doesn't say var char, it says char for character one. That means that this column must have a character entered, one character. It cannot be null, and by default, this character will be A, A for active. That means that that car can be rented out, it is active, okay? Maybe if we want to suspend the rental for this car because it's being repaired and it needs to have its tires changed or it needs to have some uh, work done on the engine and it's gonna be out of a commission for a few days, maybe we could put a character S, like suspended. But, anyway, I thought it would be good for you guys to see a different kind of data type. So in this case, it's char1, character1. You could put anything here, you could put char16, for example, but this means that any data entered in that column would have to be a string of characters with 16 characters in them. Not 15, not 17, but 16. Okay. In our case, all we want is one character. A for active, maybe S for suspended, maybe X for deleted if the car been, has been scrapped or has been stolen or has been decommissioned altogether. Okay. But we don't want this to be null whatsoever. Okay. And by default, it will be A. So when we enter a new uh, value or a new row in the T cars because we've bought a new car which we want to rent out and automatically this car will become active. Okay. And then the last line of code here is not the definition